Let's talk about what's going on in the world of government supported schemes for the minorities. India, from being the world's largest democracy with over a billion citizens and being culturally rich amongst all nuclear powers combined together, to being adversely poor in terms of socio economic front for its minorities. For the last six years, the indifferences amongst minorities have been on an all time high. Nationalistic sentiments are being questioned openly, with respect to religious beliefs leading to biasness amongst one's equal. Minorities have been led to believe they need to fend for themselves as the government is bent to take away the liberty they were born into. This is Macy and this video will cover just one part of various schemes under the welfare of minority, hoping to educate saturated minds, hoping to open their eyes to possibilities. As per the National Sample Survey Organization report, the information on various facets of employment and unemployment in India and some individual characteristics associated with household members such as age, sex, level of general and technical education attained, vocational training received etc. was collected at the state and national level. In rural areas, self-employment was the mainstay for all religious groups. According to the reports of the Directorate General of Employment and Training, a majority of Indian workforce does not possess marketable skills, which is an impediment in getting decent employment and improving their economic conditions. While India is endowed with the demographic dividend in terms of a large young population, out of which only 10% of Indian labor forces can be administered within industries. 8% formally and 2% informally have acquired vocational skills. About 63% of school dropouts reach class 10. In case of minorities, particularly Muslims, the dropout rate is very alarming as it reaches to about 92%. Only about 3.1 million vocational training seats are available in the country, whereas about 12.8 million persons enter the labor market every year. Even out of these training places, very few are available for early school dropouts. This signifies that many school dropouts do not have access to skill development, which would in turn improve their chances of employability. Furthermore, India is in a transition to a knowledge-based economy and its competitive edge will be determined by the abilities of its people to create, share and use knowledge more effectively. This transition will require India to develop workers into knowledge workers who will be more flexible, analytical and adaptable and multi-skilled, thus harnessing the demographic dividends through appropriate skill development efforts is important to achieve inclusion and productivity within the country and a reduction in global skill shortages. To meet this gap, the Ministry of Minority Affairs had launched a skill development scheme for the youth of minority communities. It targets the youth from 14 to 35 years of age and aims to improve employability of existing workers, school dropouts belonging to minority communities and ensure their placements. It also aims to conserve and update traditional skills of minorities and establish a linkage with the current market. This scheme will upgrade the skills of minority youth in various modern and traditional locations depending upon their educational qualifications, trees and economic trends and the market potential which can earn them a suitable employment.
or make them suddenly scared off for self-employment. This is a 100% central sector scheme and will be implemented by the Ministry of Minority Affairs directly through its internal eligible organizations. The full cost of the approved project will be borne by the Ministry of Minority Affairs. Sikho or Kamao was designed around the objectives to bring down employment rates of minorities during the 14th Finance Commission to conserve and update traditional skills of minorities and establish their linkages with the market to improve employability of existing workers, school dropouts, and ensure their placement to generate means of better livelihood for marginalized minorities and bring them in the mainstream to enable minorities to avail opportunities in the growing market and to develop potential human resource for the country. This scheme revolved around two components, placement link skills training program for modern trades and skill training programs for traditional trades. Within placement linked skills training program for modern trade, each participant must undergo training based on their aptitude and capabilities to be selected from the options of sector-specific vocational skills program. The training program includes soft skills training, basic IT skills, basic English training. Under the skill training program for traditional trades, the focus of the program revolved around activities that should result in creation of self-help groups of skilled youth with access to funds for establishment and operations, thereby ensuring income enhancement for the youth.